Hello everyone and welcome to Outside Chronicles. It's a little short series that I've been wanting to do for quite a long time. As you can see at the bottom of your screen, I do indeed have a mod menu installed called Amethyst. It's the one that I use to make my little pretty thumbnails that we got for every every different map to, so we can no clip through walls and do all kinds of stuff like that. And I've never used it on the Chronicle maps or any actually uh, real Treyarch made maps whatsoever yet. And I've been wanting to do this quite a bit because I mean look outside you know who doesn't want to just go walk out there right I mean I mean look at look look at look at look out there man uh, let me know down in the comment section if this is something that you guys would be interested in as well uh, and let's get right to it so if I can go into the mod menu here I can turn on I suppose I'll turn on God mode as well as no clip and let's go on outside let's see what's going on out there hello zombie goodbye zombie <laughs> Let's take a walk. Uh, dude, the fog out here is kind of insane, to be honest with you. But, I mean, I suppose that's that's to be imagined. Look at that beautiful MG42 up there, man. I mean, it's fully modeled, too. Like, why why did they never put the MG42 into Chronicles? That's, that's something that I don't quite understand. Seems like you can just walk right through all these tanks as well. Can you do the same with uh, this truck here? Seems like it. That's the save assets, right? So, I mean, that makes sense. I'm assuming most things we encounter outside, we're going to be able to walk through. Like, we can walk through this wall. Can't walk through the pillar, it seems. But we can walk through the wall, which is interesting. As well as... Oh, can't walk through the fence. Okay, fair enough. Well, let's continue on down the pathway. Got another tank here, beautiful as it looks. Got a pond out back, right? That makes sense. Um, I think that has something... That, there's something about the story... See, I'm not a big uh, zombie story guy. I don't really know all of it. I know the story of Knocked is that a plane got knocked down here, right? Which is right up here, I suppose. Let's go check out. The, let's check out the plane, right? Uh, the story of Knocked, right, is that this plane right here uh, crashed, and uh, originally in World at War, right, you're playing the survivors of this crash, and this crash led to an Element 115 spill of some sort, and or I think there's a meteor that crashed. It's either that a meteor crashed here. Or this plane crashed carrying 115, but to be honest with you, again, I'm not a big story guy. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but something dealing with this plane crash is what led to the events in World at War. And of course, uh, eventually the events here in Black Ops 3. Oh, look at that wall. Beautiful. But before we check out the plane, I want to check out this pond back here. Because, I mean, who doesn't want to go swimming and knocked, right? I mean, that's... Oh, you literally can swim, too. Look at this. Oh, my God. I mean, it, it, obviously, right... You say, yo, dude, did you know that you can go swimming and knocked? Like, you probably, no one's going to say yeah. But you can, apparently. Look at this. There's actually quite enough, quite a bit of water here to be able to swim. So we can go through through the rock here as well. But that's interesting. It's quite interesting. You know what? I need to test this out. Hold on. Let me take off God mode. And let's see if we can drown. Okay, the effects are starting. Like, it's pulsating. You literally can drown. You can literally drown on Nocturne Toten, dude. You know what? That's, honestly, that's awesome. Fun fact. All right, let's 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 keep going here. All right, so we've checked out the pond. Uh, I suppose let's see what's behind it, right? So, obviously, most of this rock, we can, why is there, why is there blood on this? Is that blood? Is that what that's supposed to be? This, this rock's just covered in blood. What I was going to say is I wanted to see, like, what's behind the pond. Like, as far as, like, how much I can walk on here. It looks like I can walk on some of this, but some of it not really. <laughs> I think this underlayer is what we're walking on right here, right? Uh, throughout all of this, even even up here, right? Yeah, it seems like that. This, uh, this brown with, like, red in it, rock, whatever the hell this is, man. Strange. Quite, quite strange, I have to say. Yeah, man, look at this. This is nuts. I don't know why this is just covered in red, but it is. Oh, my God. Wow. Not really sure the significance of this. Maybe this is like story. Maybe this is like element 115. But I don't I don't ever remember element 115 being red. So uh, maybe you guys can let me know down in the comment section if you know any reason why uh, why that rock there would be red. All right, I think it's time to finally check out this this here plane here. So let's, let's see what we got going on here. Uh, so the cargo, right, was supposed to be carrying Element 115, if I remember correctly. 
But it doesn't look like any of these boxes here have anything in them. Unfortunately. Uh, that would be cool if there was just chilling inside. Oh, there's... Got a sandbag just chilling right here. I'm gonna say that'd be pretty cool, though, if there was, uh... There was just, like, a little Easter egg of, of some Element 115 chilling in here. I guess there's some rock here, actually. Maybe? Maybe that's what's going on here? But... I don't, I don't really think so, because it seems like that's the same rock right outside of the, uh, right outside of the crate, as well. And it doesn't look like there's any kind of like scattered, one one five or anything like that, just chilling around. Got a big old Y on the plane, and a N one seven E or maybe N I seven E, depending on uh, how you interpret a straight line. Up to you. And inside here, it looks like we don't have too much. There is a Browning, which is beautiful. That's quite nice. I think that's the best we're going to be able to get for a sight picture. Wow, that's beautiful. Okay. Again, another thing. Why isn't it in Chronicles? Who knows? Who, who knows, man? Only Treyarch does, I suppose. Whole bunch of these engines that just seem completely hollow. And let's check out the cockpit. All right, so we got whatever these are. I don't know if these are supposed to be, like, Fire extinguished canisters? But, I mean, they're yellow, so that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it looks like we gotta be careful. There's just a straight up just a hole in the map right there. Nuts. Uh, but yeah, I'm not really sure what those canisters are supposed to be. Maybe oxygen. Uh, we are in a plane after all, I suppose. Um, a little viewport up there. And then as far as the cockpit goes, uh, it doesn't look like there's much going on in here. Uh, we just got... Right here's the dashboard. A bunch of dials that don't look like they do anything yeah there's really nothing going on here i mean we have obviously the two seats and uh, a whole bunch of things that look like they do nothing what is this no idea what this thing is maybe this is the radio i don't i don't know let me know down in the comments what you think and behind the plane absolutely nothing i mean that's to be expected i suppose right i mean you can't you can't really think there'd be anything back here all right let's continue onward uh, it seems... Let's go around. Can we walk, like... Yeah, we can just straight up walk on this little balcony, too. That's kind of cool. Obviously, we can't go back inside the map. There's a barrier there, but... That's not too bad. We can see... Oh, my God. We can see all the way down into the bottom, too, right here. Interesting. Uh, let's hop on down. Right? So, now we're outside of this window. Let's, let's just see what do we got going on in this pathway. Obviously, a whole lot of red barrels, as we know and love. Uh, but it doesn't seem like much else. What's going on with this radio? Can we touch the radio? No, we go right through the radio tower. But we can... We touched its base, at least. We can get on top of this. And walk on that. Uh, I don't think... I mean, let's go up to the top. Anything interesting up here? It doesn't look like it. Uh, it's just a satellite dish, right? I mean, what else can we expect? This ladder, though... This ladder is tiny. Look at this ladder compared to how big we are. No one's climbing that our size, I'll tell you that much. Maybe that's for the denizens. Man, look at these zombies just stumbling out of the, outside of the map. Dude, this guy spawned all the way back here, dude. No wonder why it took so long for zombies to spawn in Nocturne Toten. But, I mean, I suppose if they didn't, it would probably be quite annoying, so... Thank God for that. Another little pool here, but this one's super, super shallow. And if we go out to here... There's nothing, 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 and more nothing. Fantastic. Oh, and you can rebuild barriers from the outside. That's wonderful, just in case you ever need to know that. All right, we got to go up the staircase, right? Let's see. Do the stairs exist? Can we walk on them? Let's find out. Wow, isn't that thrilling? We can definitely walk on the stairs, it seems like. Uh, but, yeah, these railings, we can't. Uh, but this is, okay, this is hard, though. This is a... Oh. I've I've found a glitch outside the map. <laughs> it looks like... No, but these... Uh, yeah, so these these are hard. You, can, you can't walk through those, but let's see. Can we walk through... We can walk through all of this. Interesting. I have to say. Quite interesting. You know, I've always wanted to stand here. I've always thought Noct would be really cool if uh, instead of having windows here and here, like you could just straight up walk out here, you know, like in the original Noct. And then here, like, this staircase be uh, the window. The, like, the main window for this area. I thought that'd be cool. Because, right, most of the time, right, the strategy for Noct is always camping in this back corner with a couple of your buddies, getting some LMGs, 
shooting some zombies until you have to until you can no longer withstand camping in the corner, right? At least that's what me and my friends always did. Uh, and I always thought it'd be pretty fun if the camp spot was instead right here. I think that'd be sick. Well, talking about that camp spot, I think it's time we check what's on the other end of this door. And if you're enjoying this so far, you should leave a like, subscribe so you can come back for more. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me how your mother's doing. Let's go through it. Here we go. No clip time. Well, I mean, it's nothing too special. It looks like there's barriers everywhere, so I can't actually walk in here. So I think this is just one massive barrier, this entire room here. Uh, but I'm, I suppose what else to expect, right? I mean, there's there is holes in the ceiling. They have to they have to put a barrier somehow. And I guess they just made a massive block of a barrier. Uh, let's see. So if I go like up to the top here, yep. Yeah. So the barrier goes all the way up to here. Crazy. They really wanted to make sure that there was no glitch spots in here. Kind of cool though. I mean, I'm not not too not too hurt by it. I guess let's take a walk along the top of Noct real quick. Oh. It kind of drops off here, which is interesting. So this barrier is actually not as high as the other ones. Interesting. We just keep on walking here. Of course, we got the skylight for the uh, the box there. Beautiful. And, uh, I mean, nothing else really all that interesting up here. You can walk on this as well. This has a barrier on top of it, which is interesting. And if you walk onto the staircase... There's also a barrier here, which, to me, makes no sense whatsoever, right? Because there's no need for there to be a barrier on top of a staircase unless there was thoughts of perhaps using this staircase, right? Like, of this being a playable area. You know that, that story I just told you about how nice it would, how cool it would be uh, to hold off zombies here? I mean, maybe once upon a time they were thinking about doing that. Look at this. You can just walk right on top of it. There's a barrier here for absolutely no reason. Interesting. Conspiracy theories? Let me know them down in the comments. Well, folks, that is Nocturne Toad, and I hope you enjoyed. Obviously, this is a very small map, so there's not a ton going on outside of the map. There's not a ton of things to check out. But I think in the next videos in this series, if you guys are interested in please let me know down in the comments section. I think they're going to get more and more interesting as we go down the list of Chronicles. Let me know! If you want to see that, and in the meantime, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.